Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with the aircraft carrier, and as you guys can see, in the previous video we ended up adding some deck details. So we actually have some connectors right here for catching us uh, when we go into land. We've also added these lights on the front and also on the back. Now, we're not really going to land planes on the front all that much, so the front ones probably won't be turned on all that much. But the rear ones, we will probably be landing on quite a lot. And I've added more to the rear so that we can catch ourselves, which makes sense. Anyway, what I want to do today is actually work on adding something that will propel us forwards, like the propellers and also the engines. I'm not sure how that's going to go, but let's get on with it and I guess we'll see. Okie dokie, so this is the area we will be working with right here. I know you guys probably can't see an awful lot down here, but uh, it is it is an open space. Uh, we might actually get rid of a bunch of this as well, just as a side note. Uh, I feel like we do need to, so we're going to get rid of some of this uh, and some of that, and also some of this also, just to that point right there, and that'll give us a little bit of room. We're also then going to add our engines in right here, and I think that'll be fine. So I'm thinking four huge diesel engines, or maybe just two. No, probably four. Mm. No, let's go with two. Two huge diesel engines. Uh, we'll see if we can get them working. They're going to be modular, uh, and we'll see what happens from there. But what I want to do first is I want to try and figure out where the actual propellers are going to go. So I'm thinking we actually piggyback off of this, and we continue this bit outwards like so. Uh, and we will have them down here. Not very high, so something like that. That's good. Let's go by ourselves a propeller and see if we can just whack that straight on. So we want the giant ones, not just the large ones. Yes, okay, that works. We're then going to go uh, further into the middle uh, by quite a bit, to be honest. In fact, we should have done the middle one first because I think that makes more sense. But yeah, this one's going to come further out. We're going to grab another one of those and we're going to put it right there. Yes, okay, so two propellers, four propellers. I think four. I'm thinking four. That's fine. Nice. Okie dokie. So with that being said, I actually want to take this one inwards a little bit more because I don't think this is quite right. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this back in here like so. And voila, that's good. And we'll move it inwards a little bit to about here instead. And we'll do it with pipes instead as well because that makes more sense. There you go. Anyway, I wanted to ask you guys some more questions because I like it. Uh, well, I enjoy asking you guys questions as I build. Uh, so what do you guys think of this carrier so far? Do you think it looks like it would work? Or do, you look, or do you think it looks like it would be really bad? Let me know in the comments down below, because I'm kind of interested to see what you guys what you guys think of this thing. But there we go, we're going to have four of these. Uh, we're clearly going to delete all of these guys all the way back to there, and even further inwards to here. Excellent. We're then going to replace those with these, and unfortunately, I think I've built these ones on the wrong side, on the wrong height. But I think I'm okay with them being at different heights. I think that's okay. Alright, okay, so that works out. That seems pretty good. We are then going to go ahead and actually make the edging of this uh, a little bit bigger. I kind of feel like that'll be cool, so let's go ahead and do this, this. Uh, let's go ahead and do this, this, and this. Put that bit in right there, and all of these pieces will be deleted also. And we'll go ahead and build this out to there also. And then this bit, excellent. And then I think what we'll do is grab one of these, put it on here like so. That seems good. Put it on here like so. Do the top end as well, if I can, on this side and on this side. And we're going to build it in just like so. I think that's pretty cool. So that'll go to there. We'll actually extend all of this this way as well. All of this this way also. And yeah, we'll just have these extend outwards, but just a little bit. So out to about there. Yeah, I think that makes sense. All the way out to there as well. Excellent. Turn this around, bring it out to here. And then this one finally will go to there. There we go. So I think that adds the extra detail that will actually look a lot better. Uh, and I'm happy with that. So there we go. All the way out to there. Excellent. Yeah, why not? All right. And then what I want to do is I actually want to attach this to the roof. Uh, sort of like this. So we'll bring that up like so. Excellent. We'll build this in like this. And then we'll actually attach this to the ceiling uh, via one of these if we can, which is impossible. So we'll actually just use these guys instead. And we'll actually attach that straight back up to there just like so. And we'll also do this one on this side, uh, like this. Yes. Okay, good. Delete this. Go ahead and build all of this in so that it all fits together. And I think that looks sick, to be honest. I think that works. Nice. Okay, so then clearly we want to go ahead and do the same thing with these ones. However, I do think that we should actually lower it down 
Uh, so we will. So there you go. Lower this down to here. Bring it all the way up to there. Delete all of this all the way back in. Delete that one. Put this little bit back on there, just like so. And honestly, I think that's fine. We then obviously have to remove this and place it back on. But I think that'll work out. Yeah, good. All right, with that being said, we then need this piece. All the Wait, hang on. This piece, this piece. All the way to there. Good. These pieces as well, all the way into here. We're going to go ahead and bring it all the way out to there. Go ahead and copy it. Move it across to this one. There we go. Paste it in. Excellent. Take it across to this one and paste that in as well. There we go. And we should have some pretty good propellers right now. Yes. All right, there we go. All right, so uh, I did ask you guys in the previous video what you guys thought about uh, the propellers and stuff like that. And also what you guys thought about the engines. Uh, I've decided on diesel. I do think diesel is the best option for us. Also, just as a side note, those look tiny. I feel like they should be way bigger, but that is what we've got. So that's what we're going to go with. Uh, but yeah, they look so small. That is ridiculous. They're so tiny. All right, well, anyway, we're going to add some uh, thingamabobbies to the back of these. We'll actually have rudders on the interior too. So on this one, we'll actually have two. Uh, in oh, the On this one, we'll have rudders. And then on the other one, on the other side, we'll have rudders as well. But we won't have any more than that, because I think that's fine. So build this out to here. Excellent. Delete this piece. Attach that onto there, just like so. Bring this down twice. Delete that and that. And do this up to here. There we go. So we're going to continue this downwards, actually. So put this piece right here, and then go down. And these will be our rudders. All we need to make sure is that it will actually turn us. We don't really need to make sure it looks nice. It's not something that we really really care about so there you go but anyway that's built in we'll go ahead and go backwards another one or maybe a few there we go and then we'll have control surfaces uh on those yeah i know i could do this differently and i could use like oh wow they actually fully fit too that's ridiculous all right uh invert this one i think that's inverted and i think that'll work okay so let's see if we can actually get this thing moving via using some uh what will we use? I guess we could use some uh, motors with some gearboxes, and then we'll go from there. Let's see if this works. All right, so that is literally only four large electric motors. Will they work or will they not work? That is the question. Let's get ourselves a seat, uh, or actually a helm probably. We'll put it in where the helm should go inside the bridge, and we'll see if this works. Because it might work, it might also just not, so we'll see. But let's whack that in there. Go ahead and put W and S on forwards. Here we go. This is going to be interesting to see what happens here. But attach that to there. And there. And there. And also there. Good. And then we need the A and D attaching to the other bits. And then we'll see if it actually moves. Because it might. It might also decide that it doesn't want to. So we'll see what happens here. Also, I've deleted a bunch of weight. So it might be off balance. We'll see what happens. Oh no, she's sinking. She actually sank. Okay, right. Why did that happen? I feel like I might have accidentally deleted a block at the front uh, previously. So we're going to go ahead and test that out and see if that is actually correct. Um, let's have a little look down here and see if we've deleted anything at the front. Because it could be possible while I was deleting some stuff that that has happened. I hate getting holes inside of these things because... It is, it is impossible to find where the actual hole is, which is super duper annoying. Uh, like, is that a hole? No, that is not a hole. Okay, is it actually at the back somewhere where I've accidentally deleted something back here? It isn't. Okay, is it in the roof? I don't think so. I don't know where the hole is. All right, let me know in the comments down below if you expected it to sink there, because honestly, I didn't expect it to sink there at all. I wasn't expecting it to sink ever. But uh, in this situation, it has currently sank. I do know where the hole is. There it is right there. So, yes, there was a hole in our ship by accident. But now it's sealed. Everything should be fine. Let's see if it floats now. All right, here we go. Let's see if it sinks this time. No, it is floating quite high, actually, in the water. Uh, we do need to add that weight back in. Otherwise, it will float too high. But anyway, let's get inside and see if we can drive this thing along. Uh, and see what happens. Here we go. Ready? We are moving. <laughs> we are moving very slowly, but we are moving. Okay, and we are listing to one side because obviously there is a lot of weight on the bridge on this side. So we need to even that out if we can, which we will probably do. But 
This is working. We're moving. Yeah. Nice. All right. I mean, very slowly. Also, the front elevator is stuck or just doesn't want to move anymore. So that's weird. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, pin this to full. Here we go. So it continues going forwards. Uh, we'll get in this front elevator and see if we can fix it just by being here. There we go. It does appear to have continued going upwards now. Excellent. Uh, and that is that is fully working. Yeah. Okay, good. It's working, guys. It's working. All right, so it is worth saying. I don't know how fast this thing is moving, but I'm going to go ahead and say that it is moving a little bit. So that's good. That's good. I'm happy with that. So let's go back to the workbench. Uh, we need to come up with some engines that will move it faster than that is currently. And then we'll go from there, maybe. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some weight. Uh, we'll only put it on one side, and we'll try and balance this out as we go. So let's go ahead and do this. There we go. It's moved across a little bit. Let's go ahead and put a bunch more on there as well. There we go. It's moved across a lot. And there we go. It should have balanced itself out quite a bit now, which is good, I suppose. Let's go ahead and put one more line, just a little bit. And let's check this. Yeah, we're, we're pretty even now. That should have leveled itself out quite nicely. Also, another thing that I do actually want to do is let's go on the outside. There we go. Let's grab a few of these. We'll go backwards about 10 or something. There we go. 10. Uh, that is on both sides. We're going to get ourselves some control surfaces. Uh, just some little ones. Little tiny fins. We're going to attach all of these on all the way back there like this. There we go. And some on this side as well. Clearly going the other way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, like so. And then we're going to go ahead and grab both of these. So grab this on this side. From there. Excellent. All the way back to there. All the way to this side. And those ones. Go all the way to this side as well. Go ahead and grab these. Go ahead and copy them. And move them backwards. So that the uh, the ship stays stable when it's in the water. This is going to help out drastically. Even if you don't think it is. It's definitely going to help. Uh, it's all the way to the edge. That's fine. We're going to move it all the way to the back to hopefully allow it to be the most efficient that it possibly can be. And then we're going to merge it with the top. And there we go. Nice. All right. I might delete some of them because they do have to actually come off the back. But there we go. That's good. Then we're going to add... I was going to say pivots, but I don't think we need them. So let's save this again. There we go. As wood, 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 wood. And uh, we'll see if it floats better. And also, I think I want to put another gearbox into this. So we'll actually go from here. Grab this one, all the way to that side. Go ahead and copy them. Move it in one, paste it again, merge it all together again, and hopefully this will allow us to uh, go a little bit quicker. With that being said, though, we should get a speedo to be able to see how fast it does go. So let's do that. Dial, here we go. Quick dial in this color, please. There we go. We're going to whack that in there just like this. Seems fine. I actually turn it around real quick. Ba -ba -ba. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and get a speedo. And we're going to see if this works. So, linear speed sensor. Let's go ahead and just whack it on there for now. Good. Attach this directly up to there. And off we go. I actually don't spawn it. Save it. And we'll spawn it in as a mission. Hopefully this is good. I I'm assuming it'll work. Look at it go. I mean, it is gaining speed, to be fair. But let's see Let's see what happens now that we've, uh, we've modified it a little bit. We've obviously added the extra weight on the side to hopefully level it out. We've added the leveling system, which is just a bunch of control surfaces. And, uh, what else have we done? That's it, right? The weight, the control surfaces, that should be it. Oh, and we've added a gearbox. So there you go. But anyway, let's get inside this thing, see if it's pretty level. I think it is. Yeah, it's sitting pretty nicely now, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and get this thing moving. W. Those propellers are turning. How fast are we going? Let's have a little looky here. 0 0.07! 0 0.9. Oh! Oh, 0.09, 0.07 again. Uh, okay, I feel like the gearboxes are the wrong way around, but it is floating better now, so that's good. <laughs> we need the engines. We need actual engines in this thing. Let's build some. All right, so I am thinking we actually build the engines somewhat close to the center, so what we'll do is we'll actually build on top of this, just like so. We'll build it all the way out to about there, and we'll build our engines on this platform. Hopefully you guys can see in here, if you can't currently see in here, we'll actually change the whole interior to be like hot pink or something. Uh, just so you guys can see. It should make it brighter. I don't know if it did make it brighter, but there you go. So we've got it this color now. Let's go to engine. 
And let's start building. Yes. All right. I've never built one this big. Five by five. Oh, this is going to be huge. This is going to be a gigantic engine. So we're going to go with maybe a 14 cylinder. So we'll do it in a straight line, actually. So let's go with one right there. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. All right. So how many can I add to the side? So that's 12 um, plus six is 18. That could be an 18 cylinder engine. We could have two 18 cylinder engines. I feel like that makes sense. Oh, that's tiny. We need bigger ones. Oh, wow. These are huge. These are absolutely massive. But we're going to go with it. So there's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. And six. Oh, wow. Okay. And then there's seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, no. Ten. Eleven. Oh, Eleven and twelve. All right, we get 12 cylinders. Let's go with more. Let's do it. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, is that one slightly off? Yes. Five and six. All right, there we go. So we've got two ginormous engines. We need to figure out how these work because I currently don't really know. Uh, and then we got to go from there. So how do we do this? Because <laughs> it is just a clutch that goes on the end, right? But it's not this clutch because it can't be. It needs a bigger clutch. But what clutch does it use? The 5x5 clutch, that's what. There we go. Okay, excellent. So we can use that. And then we need the other thing, which is... I don't know, a 5x5 drive thing? Yeah, okay, that's going to go on the front. Just like so. We're going to need, like, multiple starters and stuff like that. Multiple alternators, I, I guess, maybe. Uh, and then, what else do we need? Fuel? Okay, right. And coolant. Coolant is going to be a massive issue here, but we'll try. So... Uh, let's start with the starters. We'll have uh, one right here on both sides. Yep, because why not? We'll then actually have more going on the top. So one, two, three, and four. And that is, what, six starters? I think that'll work. Maybe. It is worth mentioning, I've never built something this big before, especially one of these engines. I've never done it. So, problems. If there is problems, uh, yes, that is just a thing. Anyway, we're going to go and delete this in the floor uh, real quick. We might add two cooling systems to it. Is that a bad idea? I'm not sure. We'll never go down here, so it doesn't matter what it looks like. So let's just delete a bunch of this. Let's go ahead and put the coolant system on. Should we have two? Yeah, I guess we'll have two coolant systems. There we go. So one that way, one this way. That makes sense. So have it actually come out the bottom. Uh, and back into there. Out the bottom and back into there. Excellent. I think that'll work out fine. Good. All right, let's delete more of this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Actually, but delete more. One, two, four. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So, we're going to do it so that they go into radiators. That makes sense. Uh, and then we're also going to do it so it goes through the seawater as well. And then back into the pump. I think seawater will cool it fine, but I'm not sure. I don't know whether we can filter it to be, like, nice water again, but I don't know. Anyway. The, the coolant is the least of our issues right now. We need to sort out the rest of the stuff, which is like fuel, exhaust, and all that stuff. So, let's attach these guys together, shall we? Uh, using... Where are they? Where are the engine thingies? Uh, these pieces. Here we go. So, we're just going to go anywhere on this engine. We're going to build this up, build this out, and attach those together. And that is all we need to do. There we go. Attach that directly under there, please. Yes. All right. So they're all now in series. They all work. Uh, now we need fuel to go in there and we need air to go in there and we need it to work. Do I need to put in like loads of air and loads of fuel? Meaning like a bunch of air inlets and a bunch of fuel inlets and a bunch of exhaust outputs? I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't know how we go about doing this. Um, but I guess we'll just start with one of each and then we'll go from there. So, let's figure this out, shall we? So, exhaust. We'll go with... Actually, we'll go with two. Oh, should we go with four? We should probably go with four. Let's do that. Then the air needs to go in there as well. So, we'll actually just do one air on both sides. There we go. And one fuel, which will go to the middle, which makes sense. So, yeah. Fuel, where is it? There it is. Go ahead and whack that on there. Put it right there. Excellent. And let's build a little tank into the middle. 
uh, which will hopefully allow us to have a fuel section thing bit. All right, there we go. Build this up. So there, that's fine. Yep, good. We'll also build that all the way to there, and we'll actually complete this all the way back this way, like so, all the way up to there, and back together, somewhere back here. Please say this will work. Yeah, nice. All the way back there. So this seems like a limited amount of fuel, considering, but we're going to go with it for now. So there we go. Might even extend it forwards a good chunk. There we go. Do this bit too. Makes sense. And do this back to there. Good. Alright, that's our fuel tank for now. I think that's fine. So, attach this directly into there. That'll be fine. Uh, build it in, and that'll be okay. Pipes! Let's do this! Yes. So, a straight pipe straight out of here. Into there. An angle pipe straight down. Obviously, into it. There we go. And then a fluid port on there, which should hopefully allow us, us to work. We'll also actually put our meter in here. And a spawner in here. And hopefully that'll be fine. There we go. Bam. So we got our meter, we got our spawner, we've got our fluid port. That should be all we need. Alright. This is a big engine. This, uh, these are two big engines, I should say. Oh, it's weird the entire thing being this color. Uh, right, okay. So we actually need those to be able to get up to here and go out the top. That's the exhaust, at least. We need the air to be quite high as well. It could go on the deck. I, I would be okay with that. But, uh, yeah, we need it to go up. Which I think is fine. So, yeah. We'll actually put the air towards the back. Because uh, I think it'll be easier. And that'll be fine. Alright, good. Yes. So, pipes. Let's do this. Pipe. Da -da 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 -do. Alright, we're going to grab these ones. We're going to send the air supply over to the side. Just to about there. That's good. We're then going to send it upwards. Just like so. Yep. And then we're going to send it from here all the way up to there. And now, what is this piece? Oh, it goes right in the middle of this. That's super annoying. Okay, so what we'll do from there is we'll actually go backwards into this bit. Delete that right there so we can see where it is. Okie dokie. Fill these bits in. Paint it so that it's the right color. There we go. And then send it backwards. We got this, guys. Okay, here we go. So grab this. Do that. Send it backwards all the way to there. Meow. There we go. Allow it to go into there, I think. Here we go. Like so. Uh, we will actually seal this off as like a separate piece. There we go. And then we'll go up to whatever this is. Ah. <laughs> Aha. Okay, right. So this actually brings it up into this room, which is fine. Um, yeah. I would say that that is okay, so undo that, go ahead and put this piece on here, like this, go ahead and send this directly up to where this meets, there we go, and then I think we'll actually send it out sideways, and hopefully that'll be okay. So do this, do this, all the way to the edge, and of course it's one of these pieces, that's super annoying. Uh, we'll actually lift it up and put it out there, where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Alright, let's go sideways. We got this. So, ah! Backwards, yes. Then this way. Then obviously this way. And then upwards into this room. And then out of here. Yeah, I think that's okay. So, straight pipe that. There we go. We'll actually just angle this piece just like this. There we go. And then we need to figure out what it looks like on the other side. But we'll add a fluid port on the end anyway. And that will be our air supply. Pretty crazy. What does it look like on this side? Where is it? Okay, I don't know what's going on on this side. So let's undo this. We'll actually have this piece go upwards through there. And then we'll have it go outwards through here. And hopefully that'll be fine. There we go. Okay, I think that I think that is actually okay. So we'll angle it uh, with pipe. Do, 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 do. Yes. So that'll go up through there. We'll put a straight piece on the end of that. Like so. And then we'll actually attach those together using one of these. And that is fine. So we get our air supplies in. I think that's okay. Let's go ahead and fill this block in just to make sure. There we go. And I think that's fine. I think that's okay. Uh, yeah. Alright, good. So they're both attached to the actual air supplies down here. And on this side, that's good. Our fuel is actually in already. And our exhaust just needs to go to the funnel. And then we'll be good to go. So I'm going to quickly build the exhaust in. Because I know pipes are a little bit boring. So sorry you had to watch all of that. But I'll build the exhaust pipes in. And then we'll go from there. 
Okay, so I've actually lined all of these up like this. I, I said I wasn't going to do these in on the video, but I think that's fine uh, to do it from this point on because, yeah, it's where we're at. So, uh, we actually have what? One, two, three, I guess we've got eight. So, we're going to go one, two, uh, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. We're going to do it like that. I think that's okay. Let's get ourselves some fluid pots. Uh, we will, of course, add quite a lot of fluid pots up here, to be honest. Um... But we'll, we'll do it differently. But yeah, fluid pots, let's do this. So each one of these needs one. There we go, one and two. Uh, that's upside down. We clearly don't want them upside down, but we do want them all facing the same direction, please. So flip that over, do this. There we go, do that one. Good, do this one and this one. Do this one and this one. And I think that's fine. So we've essentially got to send all of those down, all the way through here, all the way through here, all the way through there. Uh, actually, into this. I don't know how we get them from that point down to there. But we need to, so, um, yeah. I don't know how we're going to do that. Alright, okay, so it has taken me a long, long time to get to this point, but uh, we've actually got it so that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, exhausts coming up into the funnel. We are actually inside the funnel, as you guys can see. And uh, now we just need to attach these guys to these guys, and then we'll test the whole thing, I guess. Oh, actually, we do also need to introduce the microcontroller. We also need to actually introduce the coolant to it as well. But we can do the microcontroller before we do the coolant because the coolant isn't necessary, necessarily necessary uh, in order to actually do this thing. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do this this way. We're going to do this this way, of course. Uh, we're going to do it probably this way, this way. There we go. Good. And then we need all of this to connect together. So this is going to be the messy bit, I suppose. But uh, we'll, we'll get to it and hopefully it'll be fine. So actually do this sideways. So that we can just do it straight up and in. And we will. So there you go. This is going to be extremely messy. But I'm sure it's fine. So attach that to there. Go and attach this guy to... To there like that. Uh, attach this guy to here like this. And honestly we should be doing the straight pipes with these ones. But there you go. So that bit's done. We then need to do that one. We then need to do this one. And we need to do this one. In order for it to actually work. So let's do it. Alright, there we go. Finally, everything is piped in. Everything seems okay there. Let's go ahead and change the entire thing back to the right color, which I believe was... Oh no, which one was it? Was it this color? I think it was this color. So we're going to go ahead and change the entire thing back to this color. Excellent. I think that's right. We're then going to go ahead and paint this bit of the deck, because look at it. Uh, we're going to just jug that in this color. There we go. Good. And... Oh, has that done the edge too? It has. We, we can't... I don't want it to do the edge. So, let me just go ahead and, uh... No, I've just drugged something else. Ah! This is so annoying. Right, let me go ahead and paint this in a, in a way that it'll be fine. So, we just paint this around there. Do this all the way down to here. And now we should be able to jug it. And it won't jug that bit. Excellent! There we go. So, it looks a bit crazy as if we've done some sort of pattern on the deck, but we haven't. This is just the way that we had to do it in order to get it into the funnel. Which I think is fine. So, there you go. A lot of work went into this. Hopefully it ends up being okay and working. Alright, okay. So, I've gone ahead and got the microcontroller. It is right here. I've selected it. That makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this down through here. We'll bring it down all the way. There we go. Keep it going down. Have it extended through to this one. Uh, we will actually just have this positioned there. I think that's fine. Go ahead and paste it there. Invert it. Put it on the other side in the exact same place. Kind of. There we go. And we need to merge these to both engines. And then we need to make sure both of them actually work. So, we need a key. Let's go ahead and grab a key. We'll have one for each engine. And we'll put it inside the bridge. We'll use this bridge for now primarily. So, yes. We'll have a key right... Actually, we'll put it... We'll put it back here. One and two. So, engine one. And engine two. Okay, engine one, engine two. Excellent. So, this goes down to... Oh, my goodness. Uh, this side. There we go. And this goes up to this side. There we go. Very nice. So, those are done. We then want this, which is the, the starter, to go to every one of these. I know that's a lot, but there you go. There's six starters. Sorry, no. Yes, six. There is six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then what do we want? We want the air and the fuel to be added. So, air throttle. That is the one at the back. No, it's not. Where is it? Where's the air throttle? There it is over there. The fuel throttle, which is actually this one. We're going to do the same thing right here. So, air throttle, that one. Fuel throttle, this one. 
And then we want to attach this to a throttle input, and we want to attach that to the RPS. So any RPS on there is good. Any RPS on there is good. Excellent. And then finally, we want this to go to a throttle, which I guess for now can actually be W and S. That'll be fine. So W and S from there. Down onto these engines. Here we go. Let's see if this will work. So the throttle will actually control... Oh, no. It shouldn't control this. It should just control the clutch. There we go. It'll clutch in when we do this. It'll clutch these in as well. And it'll clutch these in also. There we go. So we need a throttle lever inside the bridge that'll allow this to work. Here we go. All right. Grab one of these. Let's have it uh, actually right here like this. Yep. Uh, and we'll actually, for now, we, we will have it this color. There we go. All right, good. So attach this directly down onto these guys. Hopefully this will be fine. Attach that to there. Attach it to here. And then finally, we need to, a gearbox on the back of this. Uh, we're going to do the small ones. That's fine. Away from the, actually, there's going to be a lot of torque anyway. So how about we do RPS? There we go. And we'll do like three of these. There we go. We'll actually do it like this. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do this, but... We're going to do that, and then we're going to do this. Realistically, we should have it change gears, but we're not going to have it like that. Uh, because I'm... I don't want to. So there you go. Anyway, we'll put this on this side. There we go. Paste it there. Uh, we obviously then want to mirror everything else from here, so merge this to this. Alright, let's pipe it to the back. And we'll see what happens here. Whee! There we go. So we will need to split it into two as it gets to the rear, but I think that's okay. So delete this and this, and this and this and this. And then we'll attach them both onto there. Hopefully this will work out. And I'm sure it will. We'll see what happens. Attach those onto there. This piece under here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then a T-piece. Let's see if this works. Bam. I don't know if these are going to work, but we'll try. Uh, so that's everything connected. The air, the exhaust, the fuel. Uh, da -da 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 -da. The coolant doesn't have anything yet, but we will do that. And we'll go from there. All right. Save it. Let's see if it'll move. Oh, let's actually see if the engines even work. Because they might work, they might not. We'll see what happens. Alright, ready? Steady, go! Alright, part is loading it. Oh, yeah, okay. No, I mean, yes. This thing has lots of parts to it. You're right. Anyway, let's go. Da 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 da. Alright, let's do. Let's turn the lights on before we, we start the engines. Do this as well. Let's do this and this. Alright, they do seem to be working. What does it not have? It says it doesn't have any exhaust, but... I'm not sure how I feel about that. So it's trying to crank. It's just not starting it. Why? Why would that be the case? I have no idea. I really don't know. Okay, so currently the air to fuel ratio is actually 6,000... Uh, it's a lot. Oh, I say 6,000. It's more like 600 and something thousand uh right interesting i'm not sure why that's the case this side isn't getting any so i'm not sure what's going on there uh we need to figure this out we need to figure this out oh they're not actually attached to each other are they they need to be attached to each other which is interesting okie dokie so all of this might have to actually turn sideways i think because at the minute this cylinder right here isn't actually attached to that cylinder right there so we need to sort that out. All right, so in order for this to actually work properly then, we are going to go underneath. We're going to go ahead and delete this all the way across to, I guess, the other side to about here. There we go. Delete all of that. That's fine. We're then going to have to attach each one of these to each other. So we need to go to engine. Yes. We need to grab one of these, the manifolds. We're going to go ahead and put that there. Put it there. Put it there. Put it there. Put it there. Sure, why not? We're going to attach all of these to each other. We're also going to do that to there as well. We're then going to go ahead and send this across so that all of them get it, if that makes sense. So it's going to go this way. Okay. Uh, this one on this side is going to do the same. So it's going to go that way. These guys are all going to attach together via this piece, which can't be dragged. That's annoying. But there you go. So all of these are going to be attached together via this. It's going to allow the air, the exhaust, and the fuel, etc., to be transferred between. Uh, the engine. 
Oh, uh, between the cylinders, I should say. So there we go, that's all good. We continue all the way down to here. Hopefully I'm doing it on both sides, which I am. Excellent. We then need to attach all of this to that side as well. So from there, all the way to here. Go ahead and copy it. Press U. Take it to the other side. There we go. Uh, and fit it on right there. Paste it. Okay, good. Merge this with this. Very nice. Uh, now we need to move it to the other side too. Press U again. Take it over. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. And paste that right there as well. Excellent. So hopefully that now works. Okay. Then we obviously attach this to here. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. They're all attached. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There we go. Right. Cool. So they're all attached to each other. These guys then all need to be attached to each other. And oh wait, they're slightly off. Hang on, these two at the back aren't even on. That one and that one aren't even attached. There we go. So now they're attached. That's good. We now need to attach all of these together. And then we'll go from there, I guess. Okay, so we can actually attach those onto there just like so. I do believe that is fine. Uh, we will paste that there. We'll then take it to the other side and do the same thing. So drag it over. Here we go. Yes. We're going to paste this right here as well. Excellent. And then we're going to merge that with this. Okay, we're going to merge this with this. I'm hoping that this works in the end. I'm sure it will, but uh, it might not. So we'll see. Uh, and there we go. So that's all good. We're then going to grab this little piece, make it this color, attach it directly onto there. Bam. Okay, that's good. And then we're going to take this one. We're going to continue to extend it. One, two. Good. We're going to grab one that's in line with that. Probably this one. We're going to grab a T piece like this one. We're going to put that directly under here like so. Grab one of these, one, two, send it upwards from there, yes, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now attach it together, and I think this will allow it to work. I mean, that seems pretty ridiculous, but let's try it and see what happens. All right, I hope this works. Let's, uh, let's get on board. Here we go. It doesn't actually take that long to spawn in either, by the way. It's, uh, it's pretty quick. Anyway, do this and this. Do that. Engines are on. We have exhaust. We are moving at a speed of 10 meters per second. Off we go. Hey, was anybody expecting that? I'm not sure I was. <laughs> I'm not sure I was, but there we go. The thing actually moves now. That's fantastic at a rate of 10 meters per second. I don't know what that is in knots. But I'd say that's actually, that's actually pretty good. Uh, with the turning, we need, we need to work on the turning. Because that, that's not actually happening. But uh, honestly, I'm actually really pleased with how fast this thing is moving. Um, yeah. I want it to be a little bit lower in the water though. Because it's very high at the moment. But uh, we'll add some more fuel. And we'll also add a little bit more weight. And then we'll go with that. But honestly, it's moving now. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to end the video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.